Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to our channel. My name is Beck. I am a professional mindset coach with a background as a medical doctor. I'm also the founder of the group coaching program, Dare Darling, where we get together brilliant, successful women who are tackling their challenges with perfectionism, imposter syndrome, and people pleasing so that they can live the life that they want, so that they can show up as the full version of who they really are and have the impacts that they were meant to have in their life, to be able to live the life that they would love to live, that they deserve to live. So if that sounds like a space that you want to be a part of, if these sound like people that you want to surround yourself with to be inspired by, be motivated by, be constantly prompted by, and to be supported by. And that is exactly what coaching is all about. Implementation, integration, execution over philosophizing and theorizing. Now on this channel, I talk a lot about what coaching can do for you, what our coaching concepts, tools, skills, strategies can offer you to make the changes in your life that you want. But today I wanna to talk about what coaching cannot do for you. And this was actually prompted by a recent struggle that I've been through. You can go over to my Instagram channel and see my eyes all welled up <laughs> as I'm working through a challenge myself. And what I'm talking about, what coaching cannot do is fix you. Now this might be somewhere really important where coaching and psychology or psychotherapy differ. Because at the end of the day, coaching does use behavioral psychology to be able to make changes. The process of coaching uses behavioral psychology. And I certainly can't speak for all therapists, all psychotherapists, all of clinical psychology and psychiatry, and I can't even speak for all of coaching. But one of the ways that we may differ is that in therapy, certainly in psychiatry, with my background as a medical doctor, I know that in psychiatry, there are these constructs of healthy and not healthy, normal and not normal, mentally ill or not mentally ill. And then the process of using psychotherapy or other tools is to move the patient or the client from unwell to well, from not healthy to healthy, from not normal to normal, if that's possible. And if it's not possible, then we will still maintain that clinical diagnosis of mental illness, not normal, not healthy. And the psychiatrist or other therapist will work with those deficits or abnormalities to try and help you function in your life or achieve whatever goals you have in your life. Now over here in coaching, we do not primarily work with people to take them from unwell to well, to take them from unhealthy to healthy, to take them from mental illness to mentally healthy, to take them from broken to fixed. That is not one of the goals of coaching because in coaching, what we're primarily dealing with is the normal human condition. The normal human condition that throws up all of these barriers, all of these maladaptive reactions and behaviors that get in the way of us getting what we want. Not because we're broken, not because we're unhealthy, not because something is wrong, but because we know that it is a normal and expected phenomenon for you to hold two conflicting desires in your mind at once and for one desire to get in the way of the other desire because we know that even the most brilliant, determined, motivated, well-intended human is going to come up against their brain regardless of all of those good things going for them. In fact, that's why you'll often see the most successful people, people who already see as and label as successful in coaching. That's why traditionally the highest people in the corporate hierarchy will get coaching first because even when brilliant people try to do hard things, they're still hard things. They're still not easy for humans. And it's not about book smarts, it's not about intelligence. It's not even about commitment. These people are intelligent. These people are committed. These people have a massive track record. Certainly my clients have a great track record of success after success after success. But as you do harder things, as you strive for more, as you meet new challenges, your brain will push back against you in ways that you haven't seen before. And to be honest, even sometimes just in the same old ways, but you still need to do more reps, more reps, more reps to be the person who can more automatically, autonomously overcome that barrier for your brain. So my beautiful friends, coaching is not about fixing you. You cannot fix being a human. You cannot fix hard things being hard. You cannot fix your human brain coming up against you when you push it against its basic survival instincts. 
you don't get to escape that. You don't get to not be a human anymore. But what you can do is you can get coaching so that you can learn to manage your mind through that process, to make that process more efficient, more enjoyable, less stressful, less distressing, more sustainable, more efficient, more impactful, bigger, better, faster, smarter, not harder. Coaching is for successful people who understand their human minds and they're not willing to let those old outdated patterns get in the way of what they want. So if you know that that's the kind of work, that's the kind of change you want in your life to achieve what you want, to live the life that you want, then my beautiful friends, the link is down below for Dare Darling, my group coaching program. We can't wait to meet you. Throw me any questions or comments down below. As usual, I can't wait to chat to you guys and I'll see you in my next one.